on to set my makeup. I like to let this all hang out a little bit and I'm going to go and do my hair and make it straight and a lot nicer than it is now. Now my hair is all straightened. I just went through this first with a blow dryer and a round brush and then I went through with a straightener and fixed any bits that needed to be straightened. Now I'm just going to set everything aside for my under eyes with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and this is in 100 Transparent, which is sadly my skin shade because I'm not pale. Next I'm going to go in with my NYX Studio Finish HD, basically finishing powder. Now because I'm quite tired of being blind, I'm actually going to put my contacts in so I can see. Next I'm going to bronze using the NARS Laguna Bronzer, which is this shade right here. I am quite fair, so bronzer doesn't always look quite right on me, so I tend to more just contour than I do bronze. Now I'm just kind of dragging this up the sides of my face. Now the blending with this Next I'm going to attack the brows. I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, brow pencil with a spoolie on the end. My brows do need a little bit of green. But we're going to look past that. Now we're going to do the other brow and then we're going to perfect it all. But now, just to get a little bit more of a feathery look to it, I'm going to go in with my Milani Brow Fix. This is in 01 Light, and I'm going to use the middle name shade. Next, I'm just going to curl my lashes, but we're going to zoom in closer for this. About to get very personal. Say hello, pores. Hi. So I'm just going to use, I don't know who actually this is by, but it's probably Elf or something like that. Now I'm going to use the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. I just got this with my Lorac 2 Pro Palette. Actually one, not two. And I'm just going to put this on both eyes and blend it out. Now I know I used an eyeshadow primer, but I'm going to go ahead and go in with the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean. Next, I'm going to go in with taupe from the Lorac palette. It's just a nice, um, soft brow. And I tapped a little bit of that onto my dual-sided Sonia Patrick brush, and I'm going to very gently, like barely touching my skin. That's really key, um, right above my feet. I'm going to add a mix of espresso and black from the Lorac palette. You can really use any dark matte colors, so um, a dark purple if you like, a dark brown. I'm going to work that on where the black art is. And this is again with my Real Techniques um, shadow brush. Then I'm going to go in with the Sonia Kasha number eight, which is just a crease brush. Having a light hand with blending is really, really key. Now I'm just going to use the flat end of the dual shader brush that I've been using throughout this tutorial, and I am going to use the gold color from the Lorac palette. I'm just going in with espresso. So now comes my version of winged eyeliner. I cannot do winged eyeliner for my life, so what I'm going to do instead is just dampen the end of an angled brush like this and put it into black eyeshadow. Make sure to get black matte eyeshadow and it's just so much easier to control and you can still get that nice winged eyeliner but on the smokier side. And I'm just going to really press this, not so much rub it. Now see, like I said, because I'm not such a pro at the wings liner, 
This doesn't necessarily measure up with this, so I'm going to go back in with the purple brush that I've been using throughout this and try to get a little more color more towards that. And I'm going to go in with a mix of the espresso and the black along my bottom waterline, trying to stay very, very close to the lashes. a little bit of the NYX eyeshadow in Glitzy Gold. Now that this is wiped off, I'm going to just go under and blend. Now I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Master Drama in Midnight Master. And I'm just going to line everything. to highlight my brow bone before I forget um, with the Stila eyeshadow in Kitten. And I'm also going to use this to really, really highlight my cheeks and right above my brow as well. You just want to hit this kind of at your cheekbones. Look at that. Nice shine. Now this is the really scary part of the video. This is the lashes part. I don't ever put on false lashes. But um, I'm going to use the Ardell Natural uh, Demi Whiskies. Now I have very almond eyes, so these lashes are a little bit too much. They don't fall quite right on me, so I'm going to cut about a third of them off. Now I just wait for it to get tacky. So now I am going to use the Voluminous Butterfly Mascara in Midnight Black, and I'm going to just use Another one of the mascaras from the same brand, same brand in the red tube, to just kind of brush through them every time I start a new coat. Now I gotta do this side. Now because I do have a little bit of fallout, I wipe that away and I'm going to just blend in a little bit more of the Adra White under my eyes. And then I'm just hitting my face with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And now we really have the fun part, which is the lips. Next, I'm going to prep my lips for lipstick, and I am just going to use a lip scrub. This is the Mint Julep Lip Scrub by Lush. So first, I'm going to line my lips with the NYX Red Lip Pencil. Create a little X right there, and it'll help you get the keep and spell a little bit better. now we look a little ridiculous but what I want to do is do an ombre effect if you don't want to do that go ahead and just completely line and fill in your lips then put your lipstick on your gold but what I want to do is I want to create a darker gradient on the outside and then a lighter gradient on the inside so now what I'm going to do is with a NYX Cole eye eyeliner don't know why that's hard to say just in black and I'm going to fill in right along here at the edges by NYX and I'm gonna go everywhere. Now I'm going back with the red lip pencil and blending a little bit more. But we're not quite done yet. I'm going to go in with Red Bond and Black Cherry and I'm gonna go more over the dark spots. And now I'm going to go in with Chaos and I'm going to kind of make my cupid bullet a little bit blinkier. And probably most important step with lipstick, do this. That's what would have been on your teeth. As now I'm going to go in with a couple of black extension strands that I just got from a local Halloween store called Spirit. And you can also probably get these from Hot Topic for a pretty reasonable price. I'm just picking somewhere. And if you have hair that's not so thick and you might need to back comb or maybe hairspray it, I want to make it in a less obvious place but where it'll still peek through. Oh, 
Um, a tip, don't iron these unless you want them to blend to your hair permanently and not in a nice way. Now to add some fake piercings and tattoos. Oh, I got these also from Spirit. They're just little ring pads. I'm pretty sure you can get them at Marty City as well. Oh yeah, super fake look. Maybe we'll do the little piercings. Oh, it tickles. <laughs> So now I'm going to put on a couple of the fake tattoos and I thought I would walk you through the steps of it all in case you're not familiar. So I just chose these two stars and I'm going to put right there in the hollow part of my collarbone. And then I'm just getting an ice cube, prepare for the cold if you're down your shirt. And I'm just going to hold it down and count to 30 or just until I feel like it's ready, but you should count to 30. Okay, close enough. Now I'm going to peel it off. There we go. Perfect. Oh, so cool. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, pretty close. Now I'm going to go do some more and show you what the outfit completed looks like. So this is the final look. I have some more tattoos here and here and then you've already seen these. And I'm going to show you the rest of the outfit. This is just a studded shirt. I can't...